Okay. After that video, let's come and let's come and have a look some simple questions in the chat line. Okay. So this is one of the past year question. Okay. First, when you see this diagram, okay, you you will see two symbol here. You will see two symbol like this. Okay. The symbol like this represents that actually PQ is parallel with SR. So these two symbol actually represent PQ is parallel with SR. So what I mentioned on last video is that when both of these straight line is parallel means what? Means actually gradient for PQ will same with the gradient for SR. Okay, mean actually these two straight line have the same gradients. Okay, in order to get the gradients, we must change all the equations to y equal to mx plus c form. We have to change all the equations in this form. Okay, in this form. Okay, what we okay, what we see is actually for equation S R, he already in the y equal to one over two x plus c form. Okay, but then for the equation P Q, actually he not yet in the y equal to m x plus c form because he's three y here. So what we do is okay, okay, I write down the equation for P Q. Is what. 3y equal to kx plus c plus 5. Okay, so we have to change this one to y equal to mx plus c. mx plus c form. So we have to change this one. So I divide 3 for everything because 3y, I only want y here. So I divide 3 for everything here so I just divide 3 I divide 3 and I divide 3 okay so 3y divide 3 I left y here okay kx divide 3 I left kx over 3 and 5 divide 3 I will left 5 over 3 okay but then I rearrange this one to y equal to mx plus c so I will write it like this y equal to k over 3 x plus c okay when you get 5 over 3 what is the meaning for 5 over 3 okay for means this equation pq actually if you continue the straight line he will cut at 5 over 3 okay i, I say the c is always represent y intercept Y intercept means the straight line will cut at the Y axis. So means actually equation PQ will cut Y at 5 over 3. But then this is not important because for A, he asks you find the value of K. He wants to find what is the value for K. Okay, since PQ is parallel with SR, so actually I know the gradient for PQ will same with the gradient for SR and you same with the 1 over 2 why I know it's 1 over 2 because this one you, you see here y equal to mx plus c okay you see m actually is 1 over 2 okay so I know gradient for PQ will same with the gradient for SR and we will same with the 1 over 2 okay this is the information we got so in order to find K so therefore I just take out the gradient gradient for PQ now he write is K over 3 and gradient for SR is 1 over 2 so I know K over 3 will equal to 1 over 2 therefore K will equal to 3 over 2 this is the value for K Okay, so for part B, 
Part B is very simple. He asks you, you to find x intercept of the straight line PQ. I mentioned in last video when he asks you to find x intercept, you have to know x intercept when y will equal to 0. Okay? When he asks you to find x intercept, you have to understand when y equal to 0, you can find x intercept. Okay, he wants to find x intercept for PQ. Okay, so I rewrite the equation for PQ. Okay, y equal to mx plus c. So equation for PQ now is y equal to m. m is what? 1 over 2. 1 over 2x plus c here will be 5 over 3. 5 over 3. Okay, you can just ignore this one k over 3 because both of these straight lines they have the gradient is 1 over 2. Okay, so you, so you just write equation PQ will equal to y equal to 1 over 2x plus 5 over 3. 5 over 3 you, you can get here when you divide 3 for everything. Okay, so when you get this equation, you can easily find x intercept. I say x intercept when y equal to 0. Okay, so I write here when y will equal to 0. Okay, so, you, so I just substitute y equal to 0 into this equation for PQ because you want to find x intercept for PQ. So I substitute y equal to 0. So 0 will equal to 1 over x plus 5 over 3. Okay, so 1 over 2x plus 5 over 3. So I move the 5 over 3 to another side. I got negative 5 over 3 will equal to 1 over 2x. So I move the 1 over 2 to another side. So x will equal to negative 10 over 3. Okay, therefore, x, the x here means it is the x intercept. So, what is the meaning? Meaning, if this equation, I continue draw, he actually, he will cut some point at x here at negative 10 over 3. This is the x-intercept. Mean he will mean the straight line PQ will cut at the x exit. This is what we so-called x-intercept. Therefore, he asks us to find, we just write, therefore, x-intercept. For PQ is negative 10 over 3. That's all for this question. Thank you.